up, what up, YouTube? This is your boy, Sensation. So we're in the garden, and I'm gonna show you guys a few things. A few trees I have. This is a currant bush, a black titiana. This is a white currant bush. I'm not sure the name. Five different grapes. This is a uh, a green pepin. Pepin. This one is a uh, violator grape, deep blue. This is a red a red currant. Another type of currant. I think it's another black one. Borel Haskats. Another variety of Haskaps. These are all Haskap plants. All these you see here. All Haskaps. I really need to cut my grass soon. I didn't do any flower beds yet, any guilds. That's my next step. These are all blueberry bushes. I've got about 10 of them with the Haskaps right there. These are some goji berries. Just got them this year. These are some gooseberries. Over here we have some arctic kiwis. Arctic kiwis here. Here are two arctic kiwis. They're still uh they're still not uh, going, but they're not dead. They're alive. This one's pretty covered in grass. I think this one did die though. These are some double, double blueberries. That's what they were called. These are my chum trees. These are, um, a crossbreed of a, a plum and a cherry tree. I have another one right here. On the outer property, this is a Russian white mulberry. Still pretty sleepy. These are choke cherries that I have. On this side is another R Russian white mulberry. This one's doing pretty good. It's just starting to go now. This is a grape fence I have. This is not a fruit tree. I have a um, apple tree. This is a dwarf. It's a uh, honey crisp dwarf tree. This is another apple tree. I think it's the silver apple, if I'm not mistaken. This is another apple tree that we dug up from the ditch and we planted it in the yard. This is a cherry tree. We're gonna come back to this side. We missed a few trees here. Oh, these are all elderberries. These canes, elderberries, all here. The purple elderberries, I have a few here, 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 and here, and also here. And then in the corner, this is a Arctic plum. It is a purple plum. It is uh, from um, the Cornhill Nursery. This is a cherry tree, Mamarancis. Mamarancis, I don't even know how to say it. 
And uh, yeah, those are really good cherries. This is my other Mamaransi cherry tree. This one's huge, as you can see. And uh, it's producing pretty good. The first year I had it, I had one cherry. And the second year I had 13. So this year I'm gonna expect hopefully a lot more. So yeah, that's my cherry tree. This is a pear tree. A, either a summer, either a clap or a, a summer clap or a, I'm not quite sure on the variety. It was a little sick uh, last year. It wasn't doing too good, but this year actually it looks a lot better. The rootstock is a little dry here, but it is doing very, very well, very well. So moving on, this is another pear tree. I'm not sure. This one's doing very well too. Never got sick, healthy, bright leaves, doing very good. This is a summer crisp pear, um, doing very well also. Next to my uh, rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb, with another pear tree on this side. So uh, that's another pear tree. So there, there's the property line. You can see that I've grown trees on the property. And then the TP stage. Crossed over in the front yard. This is a European pear, a Magnus. It is a uh, semi-dwarf. This one is a European pear, a red barlet. This one is, these are all from Wiffle Tree. This is a sweet sour cherry, also from Wiffle Tree. In the ditch, we have uh, an apple tree growing there. We have a snow crab apple tree growing right here, actually. This is another apple tree that I have in my yard. Right next to my electric post, we have a plum tree, which is from my buddy, so I don't remember the, the variety. These are all apple trees growing in the ditch. This is a plum tree with four different types of plums. So this is a plum, that is a plum, that is a plum, and this in the back is a different plum. So as we move on, this is another plum tree. This one would be from uh, Silver Creek Nursery and it's an early golden. It looks very good, doing very, very well. This is another snow crab apple. This is the best one so far. It's a lot bigger. It's doing pretty good. It's uh, doing pretty great. This one's not doing so good. <laughs> we finally hit one that's not doing so good. Uh, this is a weeping mulberry. I got it from a guy in Dieppe. I still believe it's alive, so I'm just gonna leave it there, but I hope it makes it. This is a trader mulberry, which is a crossbreed between two different mulberries. I'm not sure which one would that be, but uh, yeah, I have another one here, another trader mulberry. This one still looks alive, still he's, he's waking up. This is a European pear, and this one too. He took a little longer to wake up. He was a, he was a shy little bugger, but he's going. This is a peach tree, a red heaven peach tree. And uh, yeah, this one's grafted also from Silver Creek. And uh, this is a Canadian Harmony. It just started uh, sprouting a few days ago, doing really good. Well, a peach tree. These are my pawpaws, uh, the only tropical fruit that grows in Canada. Right now I just made little shelters because I didn't have much. So, but as you can see, my pawpaws are taken off. These are from also Silver Creek Nursery. And the smaller ones that I have here, these are from Tree Time. So these are a lot smaller when I got them. I made little shelters just for them really quick just because I didn't have any netting for them. I am ordering it as I'm gonna put some. But So yeah, that's my other pawpaw. It's hidden there. It's covered because it can't go in direct sun. 
That's another paw paw. This is another paw paw that's just being hidden from the sun. It's doing very well. So if we keep on going, this is a mulberry grafted. It is a uh, ever bearing, so it will produce fruit twice a year. This is another um, everberry uh, mulberry grafted. This is a uh, another mulberry, but this one is from seed. This one is not grafted. So we'll see how that goes. We have another mulberry right here from seed. See how this one goes again. So here we have a uh, an apricot, an Alfred it's called the rootstock. And this one is doing very well, doing so good. This is a, uh, a plum clot which is a crossbreed between a plum and an apricot. So I can't wait to, I can't wait to eat that. That's gonna be pretty tasty, I can just assume. So here we are, we have a Japanese plum, uh, Satsuma. It's a semi-dwarf, Japanese plum. There we have an apple tree on the edge of my property, which is a Milwaukee apple, comes from the Cornhill Nursery. One of my first trees that I planted way back. So that's my apple tree that came with the property. The gold old uh, apple tree, it's huge. This is a, um, a peach tree. It is grown from seed. So chances are it'll probably die in the winter, but I'd try it anyway. It's just because I love the experiment to try, see if the peach tree would survive. This is another Japanese plum. This is elephant heart, it's called. And yeah, this one's really doing good. And this is another peach tree from seed. So we'll see how it goes. A peach tree from seed. These are also two peach trees, but um, these are uh, grafted. And these are known to be um, cold hardy winter survival. So hopefully they make it because I want to eat some peaches. So uh, yeah. This one would be a just a resistant frost peach, that's what it's called. And this one is a resistant peach frost curl. This is an apricot and it is an Alfred it's called. Alfred rootstock. This is another apricot Alfred. Doing very, very well. This is an apricot. It's called the uh, Puget Gold. It's a semi dwarf. It was doing rough when I got it, to be honest, but uh, it's doing good now. This is a uh, ne Nectarin, and it's a uh, Harco, and it's a semi dwarf. It's for zone five. Still Wiffle Tree. Most of my trees come from Wiffle Tree. Good stuff. This is the only one that I, when I got was pretty much dead on arrival. It's a nectaring. It's called Flaming Fury, but it's not too, uh, not too fleury. It looks pretty dead, but we'll give it a chance. Never know. Maybe the rootstock will come or I don't know. This is a, um, a nectarin harco. This one's doing all right there. It's, uh, it's not doing good like the others, but you can see that it is started to uh, sprout. So that's a good thing. So yeah, moving on. This is another plum tree that is um, from uh, my buddy Toby. It was the same one that was over there. This is another plum tree that's called a uh, Shiro. This one's doing very nice, very nice. So these, are um, and strawberries uh, and raspberries i mean that i'm growing right here and these uh the everberries so they uh they harvest twice a year i also have a uh, this is a pear tree with um three different 
types of pear on each branch. So this would be a pear, this would be a pear, and this would be a pear, multi-grafted. And uh, these are more, this is a gin pear tree. And um, these are blackberries. Blackberries right here. Here's the dog, Jax. More of and raspberries. They're just starting to sprout right now. This is a uh, a pear tree. It is a uh, megetsu. Megetsu. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Megetsu pear tree. These are our more raspberries. These are pawpaws. They have uh, they have to be protected from the sun. So. These are two pawpaws, they come from tree time. And that's it. That's, oh, there's a bunch of apple trees growing in the ditch too. Like that's an apple tree. These are all apple trees growing in the ditch next to my property. And yeah, that is pretty much it for my uh, fruit trees. So uh, yeah, see you next time on my channel, Salsation. Peace.